So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at a unique part of baseball history from the 1920s. Now we all know that Babe Ruth is a sultan of SWAT, but did you know there was a rabbi of SWAT? Yes, it would. And there was a player called that, Moe Solomon. Now Moe's Hirsch Solomon, nicknamed the rabbi of SWAT after uh, the Babe, uh, b born December 8, 1900 in New York, was an American left-handed baseball player. He got the nickname after a great season in 1923 when he hit 49 home runs in the minors, which was at the time a new minor league record. He briefly played for the New York Giants in Major League Baseball in 1923. Now Solomon, who was Jewish, was born on Hester Street on the Lower East Side of New York City. His parents were Benjamin, born in Russia, a peddler and junk dealer, and Anna Hurt Solomon, born in Austria, and were observant Jews. While Solomon was young, the family moved to Columbus, Ohio. His childhood nickname was Hickory because of his strength. He attended Columbus Commercial High School, where he was all city in baseball and football. His brother also became an Ohio champion boxer, funding under the name Henry Sully. Now, when he became a professional baseball player, he also served time as a ringer with Jim Thorpe on the Carlisle Indian School squad. Now, Solomon married the former Gertrude uh, Nakmanovich, and he moved to Miami, Florida, where Solomon became a building contractor. Unfortunately, he passed away on June 25th, 66 there, of heart failure. Now, his career in the minor leagues were quite interesting. He played in one of the biggest, for one of the biggest Canadian teams of the era, with the Vancouver Beavers of the PC International League in 21. There he had a tree 13 with 13 homers in 115 games, batting left-handed and playing first base in the outfield positions. In 22, he played again with Vancouver and then with the Nakoma Tigers. Now in 23, Solomon had 49 home runs, a new minor league record breaking the old uh, record set uh, of 45 some 28 years before in 108 contests for the Glass Sea Southwestern League Hutchinson Wheat Shockers in Kansas. He also had a 421 batting average leading the league while he played primarily first base and right field. In 527 at-bats, he also led the league in runs, hits with 222, doubles with 40, total bases 439, slugging percentage with 833, and had 15 triples. Didn't lead in RBI, so didn't win the triple crown. Now, from 24 to 28, Solomon again played in the minor leagues, batting over 300 with a number of squads. In 24, he played for the Toledo Mud Ends, Bridgeport Bears, Waterbury uh, Bras Brascos, and Pittsfield Hillies. In 25, he played for Toledo again, the Hartford Senators, and the Albany Senators. He then played from Albany in 26 and 28, and for the Canton Terriers, he's last year in 29, at 21, 28 years of age. Now, in September 1923, the New York Giants bought out his contract and signed the muscular 22-year-old Solomon to a major league contract. The Sporting News ran the headline that Giants scout Dick Kinsella finds that $100,000 Jew. Due to anti-Semitic remarks about Solomon being Jewish, he had been in a number of fights in the minor leagues. Dick Kinsella observed that, in every case, Solomon has won the fight. Now, the Giants have been looking for a star Jewish player to attract fans the way Babe Ruth did for their Yankees. With a great deal of publicity, team manager John McGraw introduced Solomon to the press as a rabbi of SWAT. The press accordingly nicknamed the native New Yorker that as well and the Jewish Babe Ruth. Manager McGraw told the press, We appreciate that many of the fans of New York are Jews and we have been trying to lag the prospect of Jewish blood. He became the most talked about player in the team and attendance shot up. Now he made his major league debut in right field at the Polo Grounds on September 30, 1923. He drove in a game-winning run in the 10th inning to give the, to give the Giants a walk-off victory. However, Solomon turned out not to be that player, as his batting skills could not compensate for his poor fielding average of only 8.33 in his two games with the team. At the plate, he had a 3.75 batting average, 3 for 8 with 1 double and 1 RBI in his two major league contests. However, this actually was 1 error out of 6 plays. McGraw kept him languishing on the team's bench. He was sold by the Giants after the 23 season due to leader of the AA. <clears throat> Years later, yeah, an article in Sports Illustrated noted he was a designated hitter born 73 years uh, too soon. 
He's also part of the Jews in Baseball and American Love Story uh, 2010 uh, documentary. So, I mean, uh, the, uh, the amount of talent this, uh, this guy had was just tremendous. Just uh, wrong time, wrong place. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the story of Bo's uh, Solomon. If you like what we're doing here with our Ventures Baseball podcast, let us know when you like, comment, subscribe, or share.